Hello everybody, I'm here with a video uh, related to the radial and transverse coordinate systems, also known as uh, polar coordinate system. So this is a two-dimensional uh, uh, coordinate system, R theta R, also known as radial and theta known as transverse. You could have also the uh, you know, the uh, three-dimensional version of this R, theta, and H, that's called cylindrical coordinate system, or R, theta, and another angle, let's say phi, and that's called the spherical coordinate system. But we want to leave our uh, discussions only related to the two-dimensional two systems. So here my objective is to describe velocity and acceleration using this coordinate system. So I have this picture here, first defining what is a radial axis and what is a uh, transverse axis. So when the particle is at some point uh, along the uh, the path of motion, right? So in this case, uh, the uh, the radial axis basically is just the extension of the position vector r, right? And theta axis is perpendicular to that. And here we I also have the radial uh, coordinate uh, radial uh, unit vector. So u sub r is the radial unit vector. So remember, unit vectors have magnitude one. So unit vector along the radial axis is called the radial unit vector, and the unit vector along the transverse axis is called the transverse uh, unit vector. And remember, the magnitude is one. But we have to realize as the object goes from one position to another position, right? The uh, the r and theta axis are going to change. Sorry, I didn't mean that. I was thinking of more of tangential axis. So r becomes uh, some axis like this, the new r, right? So this would be the new r axis, and perpendicular to that would be the new theta axis. So basically, uh, what I've shown you here is the uh, since the uh, the radial unit vector will change direction and transverse unit vector will change direction here if we say this angle is delta theta here right between the two radial axes so this is the r axis this is the r prime axis in a way as shown here uh, what will happen is that the derivative of the radial unit vector which we'll need in a minute as we go to, through the derivation derivative of the radial unit vector as you've seen also with the uh, ten, normal and tangential coordinate system becomes theta dot, right? And when you, when uh, this guy approaches this guy, eventually the change, which is basically this guy, will be in the theta axis, would be along the theta axis. So this would be along the u uh, theta axis or is multiplied by u sub theta. So this is an important equation. We'll see in a minute in the next page the derivative of the transverse unit vector with respect to time. As I said, this is very similar to anti coordinate system. You can go back and look at the video related to the derivation of the equations for the velocities and acceleration. So the question is, uh, where do we start? So first we're going to define a uh, position vector r. So what is position vector r? Position vector r at any instant has some magnitude r, but since uh, r defines the radial axis, we're going to multiply it by u sub r, okay? So we know that r obviously has to be multiplied by u sub r, so that defines the radial axis. So now we know velocity is the derivative of r, rate of change of r. So let's go ahead and take the time derivative of this guy. Right? So keep in mind that we have to use product rule. So the derivative of r with respect to time, the derivative of the first times second, which would be the unit vector u sub r plus first r times the derivative of second. So maybe it is easier for us to use the dot notation. So dr dt actually is r dot u sub r. And keep in mind that we already know what the derivative of the radial unit vector is. I have it right here. So I'm going to replace this guy by theta dot u sub theta. So I'll come here and say, okay, v is r dot u sub r plus r theta dot u sub theta. So this is now our velocity described in this coordinate system. 
So what does this equation tell you? This equation tells you that this must be the radial component of velocity. So the radial component of velocity is simply rate of change of r, r dot. And there is a transverse component, which would be this guy, v sub theta, which is equal to r theta dot. And they're shown in this picture, by the way. Here, in general, velocity here has two components, v sub r and v sub theta, as shown here, right? Remember, velocity has to be always what? Tangent to the path, right? As you could see that. And then magnitude of velocity, as is the case, like uh, x and y coordinate system, vx squared plus vy squared is square root of v sub r squared plus v sub y squared. So this is the magnitude of velocity. Remember, the same velocity in the xy direction, xy coordinate system has what? An x, coordinate, x uh, component and a y component. So you can say, yeah, velocity is what? Square root of vx squared plus vy squared. Remember, each coordinate system, you get different components for uh, velocity and acceleration. In this coordinate system, um, r theta, radial component is r dot, and transverse compon component is r theta dot. So now, let me go ahead and um, do the acceleration, which would be very similar, guys. Uh, so now, I'm going to take this guy, take this guy, and take the derivative of this. So let me move over here. So remember that velocity, and I have these two other pictures here that I want to uh, show you in a minute. So velocity is r dot u sub r plus r theta dot u sub theta, right? So we say, okay, what is acceleration? Acceleration is the derivative of velocity. Derivative of uh, velocity, sorry. By the way, before I do that, I'm going to take a look at this picture and I say, okay, over here we had the derivative of u sub r with respect to time. What would be the derivative of u sub theta with respect to time? Because as we take the uh, derivative, we're going to come... Uh, come across this, uh, you know, to, we need to figure out what is the derivative of the tangential unit vector. So it turns out that it's pretty much the same. It's theta dot, but this time look what happens. As this unit vector u sub theta approaches the one that changes change direction, right? The change will act in the negative direction of the radial. See, this is the positive radial direction as shown here. This would be the negative direction. So actually, this would be minus theta dot u sub r. And I'm going to use this in a minute for you. Okay, let's get back here, guys. So acceleration is derivative of velocity. Be careful, guys. We have to use product rule, right? So we say, okay, what's the derivative of the first one? Let me just use the dot notation. Derivative of r dot is r double dot times the second plus the first r dot times the derivative of the second, right? And then look what happens here, guys. We have uh, three terms that we have to apply product rule to it. So we just have to, you know, be a good uh, bookkeeper here and say, okay, well, what's the derivative of r? r dot times second theta dot times third, right? Second, third, right? Plus first times the derivative of second. What is the derivative of theta dot? Theta double dot times third. And I'm running out of space, so I'll, let me just continue with that down here plus first, second, first, second, times the derivative of the third. And you see, this is the one that I was talking about, the derivative of the radial unit, uh, the transverse unit vector, which is what I have here. So let me go ahead and clean this up for you. So this is r double dot u sub r plus r dot. Now, remember, guys, derivative of the radial unit vector is what? Right here. It's theta dot u sub theta. So I'm going to replace that by theta dot u sub theta. And then continue. Plus r dot theta dot u sub theta. Plus r theta double dot u sub theta. Right? Plus r theta dot. What's the derivative of transverse unit vector? Right here. Minus theta dot u sub r. Okay, so let's go ahead and clean this up now finally. Actually, if you group these together, so for example, if you look at for the uh, radial, or factor of the uh, radial unit vector and then factor of the transverse unit vector, 
notice that the terms that have radial unit vector in them is R double dot. Uh, what else? Uh, this one. Minus R theta dot squared. And then which terms uh, have u sub theta? Let's start with the uh, theta double dot. So this term is out. And look, we have an r theta dot and r theta dot, r dot theta dot rather, uh, and we have two of them then. And look guys, this must be the radial component of acceleration and this must be the transverse component of acceleration. Very simple. No big deal guys, the derivation is very simple. You just have to be a good bookkeeper and do the product rule properly. All right, so uh, the radial acceleration rather, uh, let me just rewrite this for you. The radial component of acceleration is R double dot minus R theta dot squared. And the transverse component is theta double dot plus 2R dot theta dot. So if they give you R and theta as a function of time, it's no big deal. Just take the derivative once, twice, depending on what you need and plug in the time. Sometimes yeah, R is given as a function of theta, so we just have to use chain rule, guys, so be careful. Magnitude of acceleration, as you could see in this picture, is the radial component squared plus transverse component squared, just like any two components that are uh, perpendicular to one another. So this is the magnitude of acceleration, this guy, as shown here, right? Remember, I did the same thing a minute ago in the uh, last page. So this also could be what? AX and AY, right? Because acceleration could also, it, this the same acceleration in a different coordinate system is what? Has two different components, has a, a, AX and AY, or in the normal tangential coordinate system is what? The square root of A sub T squared plus A sub N squared, right? It's just that in this coordinate system, we're using R and theta. Now, look, this is the radial, comp uh, 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 I'm sorry, this is the normal axis, this is the tangential axis, right? And the same acceleration has a normal component, you see that? This is the normal component of acceleration, it's getting too messy. And this is the tangential component of acceleration. But look, the magnitude is the same. This is the same acceleration here, here, and here. It's just that in different coordinate system, you have a different uh, different components. Okay, I hope I have not confused you with what I showed you here. You can go back and uh, look at this as many times as you want. As always, uh, thanks for watching and listening. And if you like the video, you can subscribe and I'll have more videos coming your way. Thanks again.